in my heart. I feel like a king looking for a queen to call my own. In my palace, I've got two thrones. One is for me, the other waiting. I am here vibing with one of Jamaica's greatest ever musical sons, a man who has been crowned the king of scat. His parents named him Derek Morgan, and today he shares his story. Great man. Big man, what's up? All is well, sir? Everything good, man. It's Everything a job. Good, you sit down in the great man's presence, man. Thank you, Jesus. Thank and you. then, I for your man about 1940. Yeah. The man look like him born 1994. No, man, younger than that. <laughs> you look younger than that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to 2004. Yeah. It's great to see the man, man. Thanks. It's great to see the man. It's a joy. I see the man look mm. looking healthy yeah. and strong. Healthy and wild. So, darling. Can't you say you will be my queen, occupy my throne? Whoa. In my heart, I feel like a king looking for a queen to call my own. In my palace, I've got two thrones. One is for me, the other waiting. Teach them! Always make sure the message I reach them! Father Margaret. Yes, boss. Talk to us though, early life. Place of birth. Well, I was born in Clarendon. District called Moko. Moko Clarendon. Moko Clarendon. And in Moko, they have a little district called Stuarton. Stuarton. That's oh. where I was born in Stuarton, Moko. Um, coming up about three years old, I was round with my aunt, take me to her friend. And when leaving there, I said to her, she told me this though. I said to her, Auntie Maki, I can't see, you know, my dark. Oh, from three years old? Yeah. I tell her that. I say, I can't see in the dark, you know. My blindness. So she say, oh, you mean you can't see in the dark? And, you know, she walk off and leave me and me walk, and then I start to stumble. So she come back and hold me and take me one. That time my mom was in Kingston working. Okay, okay. She was working in Kingston. She say. This looks serious, so she telegrammed my mother and write her and tell her, I say, boy, you look like Derek Nasi, you know. So my mother says, you have to go send him come a town. Make sure you take him to the doctor. And say, so, okay. I never leave till two years after. Oh. Yeah. But still yet, they notice in the, between the three and five, it was true. I'm not seeing her. Then give me then give me food in the night and uh, we have feel fit. Okay. I don't see in the dark period. Okay. So what's happened now? She, auntie decided to take me to um, Kingston. We go down Rock Rip, Rock Halt and take the train and we head to Kingston by the train. I reach Kingston now. I go see my mother, I've been known her for a long time. Mm. And my mother meet me at the train station in Kingston. And when the, um, she take me out, and she was living in Vineyard Town. Okay. Yeah, so she said the ice truck right there with ice, you know. So she take up a piece of the ice and put it in my hand. And me flash it away and fling it away and say, it burned me. First, I feel ice. First in my life, <laughs> me I feel ice. I don't know what is ice. <laughs> and you know, she said, it's ice. Put it in your mouth. It's water, but it's frozen. And me put it in my mouth. And then she take me to him, Vineyard Town, and was where she was living, to mm. work there. OK. And premises. OK. So there, and for a while, when I reached seven, 
She decided to take me to school. All this time, she didn't take me to the doctor yet. Oh. So when um, we go to a school in Vineyard Town, but I never liked the school. I mean, never liked the atmosphere of the school at oh, okay. the time. So she decided to, she, no, she, she moved, she had to move from Vineyard Town and go Orange Lane. Okay. A body in with its big yard to get to one room. So I just said she moved to one. She said, well then, I go try me in Alman Town. Alman Town. Elementary. Elementary school. And I get into Alman Town. I'm this age of seven. And from there, I leave Alman Town at the age of 11. Mm -hmm and transferred to Kingston Senior yeah. School. Mm. All right, but Kingston Senior School was just an intro from my Orange Lane. Oh, okay, okay, just close to home. There, very close. I mean, we'd go there and keep going on. But as a man don't play, I never love ramp and all them things. I remember one day in, in school and we get um, lunch time. No, I get recess time, mm -hmm. but I didn't go out. I sit down and I play uh, and I do my arithmetic because I was a good scholar and I am maths. maths. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I got do the maths and a guy named Rochester come in and say, Morgan, why you just sit down so every day and you know go out? You feel go play, man? Me say I don't interest in that or play and give me one lick on a machine. <laughs> and I drop over about three bench. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and me was not a fighter, so I said, all right. Lunchtime, I get up and we go, we go home. We used to go, I used to go home for lunch. Okay, just across the road from, and yeah, my mother used to leave me a big pot of caramel porridge. They <laughs> called that me feet pan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> caramel porridge, when they squeeze me, Pours up, come here, come, come out of my pores. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get a lot of come here, boy. Anyhow, I said, we have three guys there. One name, three lied. Big lied, black lied, and liquor lied. <laughs> three of them was cooking him, spinach for them, lunch or what they were doing. So me tell them what happened to me at school. I said, what? Come, we are carry us come, we are go over there. And we, the guy that on the play field. Rochester. Rochester up on the play field, I would play and me show them to him. And him say, Welcome. And we go to Rochester and she say, him lie, they say, lick him, thump him. But be afraid. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to lift and thump him. Like they push me back on one lick and just that drop. And then say, okay, that we take it from there. We're going to class now after. One teacher, Laidley, Miss Laidley, asked what happened and thing and thing. And she said, he was out of father. And so on. You know, kind of get over that. Mm. But what happened now, we used to have, every Friday, we have a class in concert. Oh, okay. So I would volunteer and try to sing. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> because our man used to punch jukebox and them thing, you know. They were going to 14, 15. You like the music from earlier than Father Morgan, man. Yeah, I wrote a song when I was about before I leave Moko. Oh, for early then, man. Yeah. Left Moko when you were five. Five, yeah. And the little song about Winky, Winky, Blinky, see the Makum, see the Makum. That's the young words in that accent. <laughs> but Winky was the little fly. Peeny Wally. Peeny Wally, the small fly. Yeah, man, know them, man. So, all right, so <laughs> me, me also studied some jukebox tune, you know, because. We have a lot of sounds around us. Okay, so and who were you punching on the jukebox back then, though? Mr. Little Richards, man. Little I Richards. Didn't love Little Richards. I mean, love Smiley Lewis, those kind of ah. songs. I did love and so on. 
But when I in school, now I start. When, when, when class time, I mean, for the concert, right, Fridays. I would sing and the children, them love it and so on, you know. I dance without music and everything. When <laughs> I always come in first the, in school, mm. band the singing business. So okay. <laughs> I grew up you now, going up and thing. Time for me leaving Kingston Senior so at the age of 15. So my mother said, no, you're not going to stay home, you know. You have to, you have to find someone. So they have a little college called Grantham. Mm. So she put me there. I'm going to spend one year in a Grantham when I was 16. So I leave and, uh, and she sent me to another school in Anover Street called Model Private. Where are you? Model. Model. Model yeah, Private. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I went there and finished up my school in there. So. Mm. And at the age of 17 now. So I do two years there. But when I come home now, I, I have to go look at work. <laughs> I get a little job from welfare office okay. at Anova Street. Because I did love um, stenography, they used to call okay, it. Okay, okay. Uh, I think I bookkeeping now. Mm, so I go there and. I, 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 I get a little job, and but what happened now? When I'm in school, my eyes. Mm. So you still not go doctor yet, further? Yeah, no, maybe go. Me, okay. Yeah, maybe go doctor before. Okay, okay. And doctor said me troubling from night blindness. That's what they say. So nothing could be but done. But you were seeing okay during the days, though. Yeah, during okay, the days okay, I see everything. Okay, okay, you know. But I couldn't stay far from the blackboard. I have to mm. come up in front. And the eye would run water when you know. Okay. So when we get that little job now, and over the papers, it will have wet up. Okay. Oh. And I run water okay. it to the, mm -hmm. the boss. I, I can't manage that. Mm -hmm. So I said, okay. I may have to go home. So meanwhile, my home now, I hear about virgins. Virgins, opportunity. Opportunity. Oh. All right, hold it at virgins. You go pick up back at virgins. Yeah. Go back down and walk a little bit. How yeah. many brothers and sisters? My mother have two children, okay. me and my brother. Mm -hmm. Okay. That, but my father have one whole heap of picking. <laughs> I'm 15 away. You mean the deacon? Yes, the deacon. I'm 15 <laughs> away. <laughs> yeah. But those days, it was on the five. My mother, me, they have my brother, Claudius. Okay. And me. Okay, okay. It was two. Two, okay. Yeah, but, you know, our, our auntie and our... Cousin, them have more children okay, in Okay, okay, so, okay. So more yeah. children are in the house. Yes. Mm. And that's how it goes. Yeah. And but what was it like, though, growing back in Mokka back then, though, growing up? What, 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 what can you remember from, from that time, before you got to Kingston? I can remember when the man got a job. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to reach there early in the morning down and eat the number 11 tree. Mm. <laughs> and me would have find mango and thing. And I remember them. And we used to watch my bigger cousins them play ball and, you know, run up and down in the yard because yard big. You know, yes, you know, yes, nearly, yes. Nearly two acre and a half of land. Big yard, that's what you have. Farm, a farm in the yard, yeah. that's what you have. <laughs> so that's like, go. Yeah, man. so we could pick up back now around uh, John Veer opportunity over there. Yeah, man, when I heard of him, Veer John keeping opportunity over now. Veer John. I said, boy. I would have like do that. So I have a friend in the yard where lived there near Eric Monty Morris. Monty Morris, yeah, yeah Monty Morris living at the same, same yard. Same yard, same yard. The two uh, of us grew up together. Okay. So I said to Monty, Monty, because we always don't pump Mr. Fong whole car in the whole yard. I beat German up sing. Uh -huh. Monty and I. So we say, we go try out Vajans, no man. And he said, yeah. So, me, me study some Richard Stroon and him study Presley. Okay. All right, so him, we got on there and Bonnie Bonita and him band. A play, uh, 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 um, audition, you know? Mm -hmm. So, he picked me and he picked Monty. Uh, right, and then Hartens Hellis, that's Alton Ellis' sister. sister. Yeah. And 
Owen Gray. Owen Gray. Yeah, and Jackie Wilfred Edwards. Was, they, they were involved at the same time. Yes. So, and, yeah. thing. and you have two brothers. They call themselves the Richard Brothers. Richard Brothers. Oh, not familiar with that. No, so. I don't, don't know. No record. Oh, okay, okay, mm -hmm. okay. And we go down there, and they pick me, and they pick uh, Monty. That's Bonito. Mm -hmm. And we rehearse with him. And Palace State now, every Monday, it was Monday I chose it. What thing? Huh? Monday. Every Monday they have double bill show. Okay. Two, two, two shows. Two shows. So between the, fir the first show and the them, Virgin would have an opportunity. Oh, oh, oh. oh, that's how it works. Yes. Okay. Half. Half hour. What an opportunity. Okay. Hour. So we go out and we have, we're supposed to sing one song, everybody. When I go out now and start sing my own, um, Long Tall Long Sally. Tall Sally. When I started, I, the palace rammed the night, all people on the walls. See them, because the show was big. Okay. Two show. And people on the wall, man, and I start singing, and I'm young, pure laughing. The people then get a laugh at me, I wonder in my mind, because I'm not seeing them now. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm not seeing them. A night for me, you know. Oh! <laughs> but I hear them and making heap of noise and so on. I'm, the band, me not hear the band again. But me still a sing. And I dance without, and everybody I roll up on the stage. I yeah. laugh. And when it's done, me done and everything done, Vagans, I go ask who we know, what is the audience? I go ask the judge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But when him start, and, call, and when he reach my name, and God, a pure nice, pure nice, when him call me out, and then say, all right, that means uh, you win. So me get me two pound. <laughs> <laughs> uh, me had was to sing another song when I so was sing one named Jenny, 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 Jenny. and thing. The Bim and Bam was in the audience. The great Bim that, and Bam. Yes, those was the um, Jamaica number one comedian. comedian. Mm -hmm. And they used to keep shows around the island. Every theater you can tell in the Jamaica, them used to go around and keep shows. So I decided to carry me around with them too. We both said, "Oh, father, yeah." Father. That's what me start now. We get get big. Mm. But everybody called me Little Richie because you know? they are singing Little Richie yeah. and tune them. Because oh. of them song, me sing. <laughs> and nobody, nobody no know no after Derek Margaret. Right. So me sing uh, them and thing until him have a concert name. He used to have all plays named Navy Goes a Rocking, Healing in the Bomb Yard and thing. And me used to take place in them. Me was all police in a one. Oh, yeah, there's some acting to man. Acting with them, yeah. Okay. But I think I just sing your sing with you and <laughs> Bomb there. I know. Okay. And we go around and things and so on. Going around and thing. One day I heard on the radio. That time we read a jump, read a few jumps. Um, in the orange lane, we used to have some in the trees. Them put the radius, yeah, the, oh, okay. the box, the box, yeah. Mm. In the trees, them and you know, them play music every day and so on. That when the read of read of Jamaica just are coming, you know, okay, when, um, way back in the 60s. So when they are gone, go on, we are here. One Saturday, I hear a song sing by Jackie Wilfred Edwards. Jackie Wilfred. Your eyes are dreaming. They're always dreaming of you. I said, whoa, that tune is so nice. <laughs> Who sing when them said Jackie Wilfred Edwards? No, Jackie Edwards. Right. You know, Wilfred. Wilfred. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I said, then the men Jack in our go round, man. Then me hear Wayne Gray won't come next. Because Juke Reed have a program called Treasure Isle Time. Oh. And at Juke Reed time, it's coming over. So, me hear 
Owen so Gilbert. So hold on. So do you create that at a program on the radio? On the radio, yes. Oh, Treasure I didn't know time. that. Yeah. It's called Treasure Isle Time. time. Mm. And then me hear Owen Gray will run. Who saw the thunder rolling down the road? Who hear the lightning flashing across the sea? Some say, how oh, can I sing that? <laughs> you man, I sing back where? <laughs> you know? Yeah. So, I go back to rehearsal. Because they used to the rehearsal with the Jubilee Tile Garden of King Street. Hopper King Street. Mm. So we go back and say, see, man, Mr. Jackie, and I say, why me here on a song, you know? How do you get on radio? Nobody now give me no information. Oh. I say, right, I don't like get on radio, you know, but you can't tell me. Nobody give me information. I don't know what that. But happened that one day I go up, leave the same rehearsal and I go up King Street, we go Orange Lane, and I book a youth. And if you see me, I say, what, my Richard? I say, nothing. I say, you hear about this man named Drew Creed from Band Street? I take audition for singer, you know. I say, yes. Where Band Street there? And I'm done. No, out of him, going out to him. I went out of him, I said, no. I did yeah, out of yeah. <laughs> So I said, all right. I go, go home and I go write a song and go check him. So I go out there. No, I go home and I sit down for Mr. Funk and start. Mr. Funk, all care. All care and start home. <laughs> home and put word. Home and put word. And I'm, I'm going to write a song named Lover Boy. Lover Boy? Yeah. I want a girl. To dance with me. Oh, and that too. I want a girl to romance me. You know what so, 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 And so. me, when I did that, go. <laughs> and then I still do another one. I write another one named Uma. Um, boom, Uma. Uma. Oh Love my. of is gone. Oh mm. my, yeah. So I get them two songs. I said, Chow, me, I go find this man named Juke. I tell him, I don't check Monty yet to tell him, say, me, I go there. Okay. I go on my own. Because I don't want to get no failure. <laughs> when I reach Band Street now, I meet this man in a big liquor shop, two guns on him side. You know. But them times they were not afraid of guns because we never know so he can pop. <laughs> <You know? laughs> and, we go up to, and I go up to him and say, Good day, sir. You Mr. Reed? He say, Yeah, I'm Reed. What's wrong? What can I do for you? And say, I heard that you're doing addition. Can I? Sing some song for you. He said, yeah, sing. I said, where, sir? He said, right here. That time people are buying things. He <laughs> said, okay. And I start. I want a girl to dance with me. I, I, I want a girl to romance me. I, I, I don't want to go on that way. He said, you have any more? I said, yes, sir. I said, oh, my Oh, oh, boom, oh, my girl, up is gone. You know, he said, wow, come to Majestic Theater Wednesday. Find Majestic Theater the Wednesday. And when I went there, so he judge every and all of them musicians, John Baker, John Berry, Easy Snapping, all of them uh, play music and me start sing to them and them. And when I do the two songs to them, they say, that, that's all good, that's mm. all good. And them follow me, my kind of, ba-boom, boom. Oh, so they play it away, I sing. Like mm. me, I sing it. And I say, all right. And say, come and show the, to, um, Thursday. That is next day. Next day. day. Mm. That was federal now. Oh, federal. Yeah. Okay. So we went to federal. I just may I get to know places. I <laughs> <laughs> never know them places before. But I have a little scout to walk with me, you know? Okay. Mm. So we go federal now for the song, and me first them record the day. And we pick up home, um, Lover Boy. Lover Boy. When I put on Lover Boy, man, one cut. One go. I'm not going again. <laughs> that sound good. I'm not going back this up. Yeah. 
So when I go up on the other one, oh, this man. one never caught. One more caught. I said, all right, the two tune done. And say, all right. That was the Thursday. The, the Saturday, me in an orange lane. Radio. And two queen. <laughs> time start. And I hear Oma, boom, 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 Oma, love, I mean, I say, wait. Don't me that. <laughs> you know? I get excited and I start running around the yard. I mean, me that, you know? I me I sing. I so me I tell them, you know? I tell them, they call me name. They, they, no people in the yard, they didn't know some name there, my God. And yeah, everybody just say, Richie, Richie. Richie. I then call me, little Richie. <laughs> And I say, from this so, up, there is no turn back. There is no turn back. No time to turn back. <laughs> and so my record carries. It start. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, man. And, and the follow-up songs to Oh My and um, Lover Boy were what? S. Rock or Fat no. Man? S. Rock was Lover Boy. S. Oh, so, so who? It get a name S. Rock from the S. Connor where them King Head was used to play. Oh. So it was the number one tune on that there. corner. So, so they, they call it S Corner Rock. Ah. That's how it goes. Yes. Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. So and which was the follow-up the song? Follow-up song, no, me, uh, Feel So Fine. Feel So Fine. With me and Patsy, but no. Ah, so early and Patsy no, started no. record? Yeah, we started record early. But him, it wasn't Feel So Fine. It's him, Love Not To Brag. Love Not To Brag. So Duke, when Shirley and Lee have a show off with some bad music in a jam down, Juke said, I would like to get a duet singer. And I said, one day I going up Pine Street, I bought this lady named Miss Kitty. And she stopped me and said, that time everybody I get to know me now. Right. She said to me, boy, I have a daughter, I think she can sing, you know. We you not come listen to her and say, same time I was going over, I stop at Jumman Street, right at Jumman Street. She, uh, uh, Miss Kitty live. I see this little girl round it up, wash pan, wash her clothes. <laughs> so I say, You can sing? She say, Yeah. Mr. say, Sing something for me. And the girl bust one <laughs> gospel song from me. I said, Blow, what a sweet voice. And I sat right there and I wrote this song called Love Not, Not to Brag. brag. Mm. And I give her her part and me to have my part. And she knew music to the end because she knows where to come in, where to come out, and then thing. I said, Wait, I can't go and juke. <laughs> when we go juke and start play that song now, no, when, when I said juke, I find a partner. You know? And he said, What's she there? And I said, I start humming the tune to Duke and him. He said, Jesus Christ, I'll kill them now. <laughs> you know? <laughs> and we go, see, go, go, go record that tune for you, man. Same federal? No. That, that, yeah, man, federal, okay. federal, yes. Same federal that before him put up the little shoot up on him out. Right, stuff, right, yeah. right. And I tell you, that was another sound system tune again. Because mm -hmm. he's not releasing now. Duke is going to play them on the treasure all the time. Oh, okay. But he's not released to public. Oh. So I say, who is this? That time, Jackie Tune and who in Great Tune, people can buy it. But here when them now are not on the sale. Mm. So I hear about this man in Liquor Wonder, which is, which is I Like Music. Okay. And I said, I'm going to find him. And I go to Majestic, where they don't find Mr. Smith. And I said, he did do some recording. So he has Keaton in it. Key, okay. And, and me and, and he have him. Uh, who is there? Keaton in it. And, and I tell him some other like So I guess I'm going to sing a song to him name. Hey, you fat man. Fat man. Yeah, man. Hey, you fat man, leave my girl alone. <laughs> and, I, and I write that song and go there to him and say, I me love it, man. So, he decided to record it with the band called Trent and Spence and the um, All Star. Okay. So, we record two songs for him. Hey, you fat man, and I'm gonna leave you. 
I'm, okay. But this time, I took Monty with me. Because they have a little song where me and Monty used to sing. Them. Now we know who ruled this great generation. And one name, My Nights Are Lonely. Okay. Yeah. So we carry him with me and we record them four songs the other day. Four songs in a one day for the Morgan? That, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> At least. <laughs> record that album in a day. Album in a day. <laughs> yeah, man. And Monty and we, we, we record them to every tune seller. Because I like. Release the now songs. We know, yeah, he released some Fat Man go number one. Now we know go number one. You know, going with Monty and me and so on. Yeah, gone home no one day my dad um, orange lane sit down and me see some man come there and say Derek the juke send me for you <laughs> I say juke for what he say don't ask no question just get up and come some bad man you know oh. Jackie Mats Jackie Mats up boogie and ass Phantom, I'll be a bad man. <laughs> we we go move on joke with. And then come for me, man, and say, me have to go a joke. When I go down a joke now with them, joke see me and say, wait. You, you out of hard or something? I say, what? Oh. He say, who authorize you? Okay. We can sing for another man. Oh, yeah? He say, but joke, what you mean? In a 10 pound song, you know? And every song you sing is on the tent when you get so I have to look food. Uh -huh. say no, I know so it work yeah, so. Really? Me start you, so you must finish with me. <laughs> and that's how me get to go back to <laughs> Duke, Duke now. Oh. And start sing like feel so fine and them tune and don't call me daddy and don't call me daddy him, yeah. in my heart. Be I still and them tune. No, him not get them the tune. not get them tune? No. And me way home now. But this guy, where he used to lift box for, for Caxon. Okay. Call himself Prince Buster. <laughs> so he said to me, Why, Derek, long time I look for you now, would I like you help me out? We, we, we do a session, we can joke, we give him some money. And him fi do a session and give you quiz some and him keep some. I say, okay, what you want me to do? Him say, yeah man, that time he want to have a session. So we fi sing a song for him and so on and thing. So me go for Monty and say, Monty, come go, go, go help out that guy. Because me and Monty was close, right, still right. close. Mm. And um, Monty have two tunes. Humpty Dumpty, and one name, Money Can't Buy Life. So, Buster hear them and say, Love them. He sang them when Monty mm -hmm. sing. So, he called me one side and say, Well, what are you have? No, not one man say, If he can't sing that tune, then Money Can't Buy Life. Oh. I said, No, man, you can't trouble the like you tune. Oh. That wouldn't be fair. And then go and start, he make a tune him. They got to go, they got to go. Pa, pa. They got, got to go. So, yeah, but, in, but in Japanese, most part, the rich man have money. Oh. The poor man have nothing. So I'm still taking a piece of a money to tune. Thief a piece of it. And you know, never take that as nothing because it's far different from money song. Right. And we went to the studio and make 13 songs that day then. 13 songs. And the 13th song is 13 number one song he make. So, 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 so let me get this clear. So Derek Morgan and Monty were the persons who gave Prince Buster a start in production? Very much so. Very much so. Then him the final guy named Basil Gabidan we make War Paint. Oh. Put on your War Paint, baby. I'm stepping out tonight. Then you have Bobby Aiken. Great Bobby Aiken. Yes, Larry Aiken's brother. And he's saying, never, never, and another tune. And then, who again, him, him have Raymond Apotheca's soul name, African Blood. 
that throne there. Okay. Then him and Rico Radwickets a play one called Let Ja Do It. And then play him, This Man Is Good. So the problem is now, if he get juke, got some tune. Ah, him kept some tune. Ah, yeah. But him decide if he get juke, the two tune were spoiled. And when he say spoil, the, 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 the man who pick up the tune, like the engineer, he never pick in the bass. He just peer drum bass, drum yeah, yeah, doof, 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 doof. So when he, he boss and said that the spoil, man, I will get juke that. And get, <laughs> but it become a number one. <laughs> Let me do it too. <laughs> so he get pure hit you on the day because yeah. I give him shake a leg. Okay. I give him the one here shake a leg and I'm, I'm a lulu. My sweet to me lulu. So he gone with them there. And me and him are going and I stuck with him for a while because I don't go back to Juke for a long time. Okay. And I stuck with Buster until I decide, me, while I was um, singing for Buster now, this Jimmy Cliff. The great Jimmy Cliff. Great Jimmy Cliff. And come find me in my yard. Oh, yeah? And he come and say, why, Derek? Um, this Chinese man sent me to you. Leslie Clown. Uh, yeah, I said, he would have liked to have me down there because he wanted to do a record session and he, he would have liked me to help him. And he come with a song. He said, you must listen to my song and if it passed, then you can come. So J Jimmy did have a tune named Dearest Beverly. A soft music. Mm. So what he did, he see this restaurant, my Beverly's restaurant. Beverly's. So to him have that tune named Dearest Beverly, he went in there and asked in them if they would record this tune, Dearest Beverly. So that is how Leslie can get to know him and say, you know Derek Morgan? He oh. said, I don't know him, but I, I, I know of him. Mm. He said, if you find him, bring him come. And Jimmy go to where to find me <laughs> at Orange Lane. Yeah. And he come to Orange Lane and tell me what's going down. So I say, well then, he start him, him sing Dearest Beverly to me. What well, nice little soft tune. My dearest Beverly, please come home. You know, a nice little soft tune. But we never want a soft tune them time. Mm. Eh? So I said, I want another tune named Hurricane Hattie. Hurricane Hattie. Mm. And then sing that, I said, yes, that's good. And um, we have a friend at the house, yard called Courtney Green. So Courtney did have a poem named The Lion Say I'm King and I Reign. Mm -hmm. So he said to Jimmy, we're not put a melody to this. And that's exactly what we do. And we go to Duke Reed, down up Leslie. And he said to me, Derek, a long time I'm looking for you now. How did James sound? That time Jimmy didn't name James Chambers. Uh, he said, how did James sound? I said, he sound very good. He said, yeah, man. Who is your band? And I tell him about um, John Baker and the uh, star. I tell him about John Baker. He said, go get him for me. I'm going to go down King Street and get John Baker. And, Go down to, to him. Let's say, he would like to do some recording, so must practice these men. So we got Greenwich Stone, a one little house. We have one piano. And we will practice this one, Jimmy and myself. Because just the two of us have a record for him. Oh, okay. Who was playing the piano? Yeah. Um, a guy named Tony. Tony, it was him for the place to so okay. Tony something like mm. And then you know, we, we got there. And then we got studio. And when we had the studio you now, the whole band and us there, you know. So go in and um, Jimmy go in and him play Hurricane Hattie. And then him play the lion say I'm king. So Leslie said to me, then you know how not tune. 
He said, okay, I have one year name. She's gone. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, she's gone. He said, okay, so we record them. And when I stepped out of the studio, there was Owen Gray outside. So I said to Owen, Owen, what? Mm, you want to come do a tune for me? He said, yeah, man. I'm coming inside the studio, I'm doing a tune in Darling Patricia. Mm -hmm. So these were the songs that Leslie can get for start off. And the three songs, the way I sang them go number one. I well, said, yeah, boss everybody, we, we go around for I, her. Mm. I was the man who boss everybody. Because really. you boss Duke, yeah, well, Duke did I do something before you, yeah, but you gave Duke some big tune. No, the, you gave Prince, that, and you boss it. Prince Buster. Bo Prince Buster. And you boss Beverly's, Les the Kang. Les the Kang. All of them come in you know, my hand. Mm. Right. Even when Sir Coxon used to hear, when, when Duke used to play him, Lover Boy. Pan Sir Coxon, he meet me down Temple Lane and I say, Coxon, he said to me, Derek, you can come do a tune for me. But that time is a secret tune. <laughs> 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 he wants something to throw back on Duke. Oh, okay. So, I say, yeah, man, because a 10 pound a tune, you know, so I have to hold yeah, every 10 pound yeah. I can <laughs> get. <laughs> So I go and I him go to the studio. I think it was the same federal him go. And I do this song called Leave Earth. Mm. Cramp Paralyzed. God. And it took up and then one name Wigga Wee Shuffle. Wigga Wee Shuffle. And yeah. I give it those two tunes and it, leave him alone. I don't let them know, say. You know, say me the girl because I sing it in a different kind of form. That you wouldn't know my advice. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid that you boys them. Okay. You know? But when we reach Beverly's for true, me never care again because Beverly's are giving me 20 pounds at two. Think double up and father there, man. <laughs> 20 pounds at two. And Beverly's and I go, go, go on a farm. And that is from 1960, me there with Beverly's now. Yes. Because those time Duke with it fifty nine going into sixty. 60. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, mm. so, so it was whilst you were at Beverly that you had seven songs in the top ten chart. That's right. While I was there, <laughs> but it's not Beverly's seven Some, songs. songs. Right, right, right. Because I used to sing for everybody, uh, and everybody putting out their songs. Songs like yeah. "Don't Call Me Daddy." Whose song is that? That was a Duke song. Duke song in my heart. In my heart, that was less aim. Beverly's? No, aim. Lie the bells. Oh, lie the bells. bells. Mm. And, and weak, meekly wait and murmur, murmur not. not. was lie the bells. Light, okay. So them releasing them tune, all, all of them releasing tune at the same be time. Be still. And be still is Beverly's. Beverly, okay. So that's how I get be still now. When I said to Wayne, and then go do the tune, darling, Patricia, and him come out, and him say, I made the baddest, the best tune you know, get in there. Oh, uh, me. Me. So I just still. catch one side and say, I joke here, mate, man. I'm write the tune, be still, I'm yours up here. <laughs> and step in there. <laughs> and drop be still, but oh, you know, no, he's in me, I've sing it off. Oh. <laughs> but, so I make him know, say, I'm superior. And we do that tune, man, and that tune mash up the place, too. Mm. You know? Because one time it was number one. And, and, and the flip side was number two. And then it moved from number one and, and go two. And then the flip, flip side, side go two. number one. <laughs> so um, me did I run it, you know. And so I have seven in a top ten. But you are the man for the man. Yeah. Do Nobody not broke that yet, though. Yeah. Seven in the top ten. Doing fine, man. Mm. In 1961, it was 1961 you recorded The Housewives? Six, Wait. Yes. 61. No, no. Housewife Child was in 63. 63? Yeah. Oh. At the time I took Patsy at Jew down and buy Beverly's and start singing okay, them. Okay, I am Patsy did quite a few songs to yeah, them. All right, so, so then now, which song came before Forward March after, after the seven songs in the top ten? Oh, I don't remember. You don't remember? To come right mm. now. But after there was seven songs, when me have said seven in the top ten, you know, I've tune coming, right, right. coming in at ten, fifteen, 
Uh, you know, I have a lot of songs. Can never, everybody want me to sing for them. Mm. So me just sing. Makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah. Now, Jamaica gained independence 1962. Yeah. And the song that became the soundtrack for independence was Forward March. Forward March. What yeah. led you to the creation of that song, though? After they went to England, between Manly and Boston, mm -hmm. they, they, and they declared um, independent. Derek Morgan never know what they mean by independent. <laughs> but I say if the man didn't get independent, sing something about independent, mm -hmm. even when I didn't know what is independent at the time. So I sit in my house and I write that tune there. Gather together, be brothers and sisters, we are independent. And I, I, I say, when I go record that for Leslie, that's Leslie Kong. Right. Uh, he said, you know, this tune will match down the place. At the time, I don't know if the words were right for match independent. Right. I didn't know what was independent at the time, you know. So I say, that tune come out and it happened that the 6th of August, 62, the, it was the independent day. Right. So they have artists from chop back. Floats and sing. parades. Yeah, float and parade. And I was on it because Leslie can come out with that song at the same time. And when we start forward march and thing, King Street was a maca. Yeah. Crowd like nothing because the ships, them, they come in. People of all description was in the street and dance. Everybody, the whole of the ship, people, them, the sailors, you know, what a sight. And me, they put my truck back at, at night time. And I said, well, go on, but me can hear around me. Mm. <laughs> and thing. And we are singing that song now. Become a big song. Legendary song, man. Yeah. Legendary song. Become a big song. Because man. every time, every time independence they come around, play. they play the song. Yeah, they play it. Yes, they play it. So uh, that, that song will never die. Never, never will ever never die. Never die. Yeah. Big song. Now, let me ask you a question, though, because I'm not 100% sure. You and Prince Buster had a musical feud, right? That's right. Was it, was because he said you took some of his song, was it, the song that he had issue with was it um, Housewives or Forward March? Forward, Forward March. March. Okay, because the thing is, did six, was done sixty three. When when him do him, they got to go. They got to come. Yeah, the the the, the Deadly Edley, which is Edley Bennett. Mm -hmm. He played the saxophone. Okay, so I didn't know he took the solo in Forward March. So Prince Buster claim that me thief him sitting and gay early the solo. Okay. So I never knew him there was song, but it 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 it. Me only appreciate the 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 solo that early blow. Yeah, anybody who thief Buster without early, not me. Right. Right. But I couldn't find the song where Buster say close to that till. The other day, just the other day, me listen to one of Busta song and me hear it, Lesser Sterling start out with it. Ti -ti 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 -ti, you know? Mm. And that was one and watch the other thing. Yeah. Oh, one, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so. I go sit down and match them there again then, because no, <laughs> no, me have context. Yeah. <laughs> ah, so that now created the, probably the first musical fuel. Uh, yes, with in, the, in, in the, the, and the, I, the, because. The I know Leslie Kang, because Leslie Kang, I get a piano, and I do the audition for Leslie, Leslie Kang. You were auditioning yeah. for Leslie? Yeah. Ah. And then, you now, a guy come there and say, boy, Derek, we just a come from a studio, you know. And Mr. see Prince Buster sing a song. Half of you say, black you must sing man. it all. So me a black and shiny man. I say, what? <laughs> So I start round the piano now. I me, me don't hear the song, oh, you're not, but I start... Oh, you don't hear it? No. And the guy don't know what to tell me, so I'm not singing. <laughs> so I say, 
Make me go and write then. And me write the two name, Blazing, Blazing Fire. Fire. Ah. I say, in the song say you must walk the blazing fire. From some people think I say I am the blazing fire, no, but it's say walk. walk the blazing fire. And I say, you said it. I am a blackhead shiny. Mm. But when I was singing for you, I was like a bull in pain. <laughs> you know, and, yeah, and yeah. check him them way there. So that two song must have clash and come out. Mm. But in Kono out run blazing fire. Okay. With his song. What his song was a very nice song with good lyrics. Yes, yes. We respect that. Yeah. We respect that. Good lyrics. <laughs> and, and I never I sorry if I did hear it before, then I would have dropped a lyrics for him. Oh, okay. But then come back with another one name. Um I'm getting watch it blackhead? No, I'm getting praise without okay. raise. Yes, I think I watch it blackhead. Watch it blackhead. Yeah. And then you did no then raise, no praise. No raise, no praise. Because me didn't hear that one, then I talk about that drop. Oh, your count time. Him. Yeah. Mm. And so on. So we keep going and going and going on. You did still insist on. Yeah, yeah, you know. And what him do now, him start following my music them now. Because I make the first song name, um, I'm the ruler on Aaron Street. Then him say, he must shake up our in street. All right? Then me make one name, um, Rudy's don't fear. Oh, Rudy's. <laughs> and then him, him go back and say, Derek. Oh, you got him. Judge Dredd. Jo oh. Him do Judge Dredd. So Judge Dredd was involved in another few days. Yeah, Judge Dredd. I Dredd. never know because that. If you listen to it, you can say. You can't it down. You can't say. The context is important to get a part of Morgan. You hear when him say, telling the judge in a certain street, but Rudy's don't fear. You know? <laughs> <Okay>. So, <laughs> so that, that and go on and go on until. The, the fans, them yeah, get the, the, mad. Yeah, so the fans got involved and they yeah, were having clashes in the mad. streets. Some say Derek better than Buster, um, some say Buster, Buster better, better than Derek. Derek. And cause all war. Mm. They were fight over it, so Shira. Shira had to step in. Yeah, the, 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 the um, Prime Minister at the yeah. time. So you guys had a peace meeting? Yeah, them said we must um, do something about it because they don't want... You know, things spill things over further. Spill over, you know. So, Mr. Siaga said to me, Go to the gleaner, hug up, <laughs> and take a picture and put it on the front page. So, we go to the gleaner, and me and Buster hug up and put a picture, and the headline was, We are best of friends. <laughs> And that hold it down. Yes. Hold on. But the people still have it in mind. So one better than the other and so on. Mm. One day now, <clears throat> what I was stop this code now. I went out down by a buster shop. Because he and I was good friends. Same, Same good way. friend. Even when we are quarrel, we were good friends. <laughs> so I go him shopping and say, boy, there I have one half of you, you know. I tell me to go make the two names, Don't Call Me Daddy. Don't Call Me Daddy. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. And he said, I have one half of you. I said, well, what are you going to do now? And he said, he goes, so, Derek, go mind your baby. I feel your baby. <laughs> and he said to him, he said, no, you can't do that because from me, you sing and I cuss what I mean. You didn't think I get purse that. We no call no, no name. Right, right. We just sing. <laughs> He said, yeah, man, I have to put out that one there. I feel your baby. Come mind your baby. So I said, look at boss. That. If you put out that tune, me I go put out one half of you. You're not going to like it. He said, what? And I sit down right. Because I could have write tune fast. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, boss, that while you were away at C, I was along with B. <laughs> and B is his wife, which is Blossom. <laughs> And all of your children have the mark of this blackhead Chinese. He said, no, 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 no bother with that. So I said, don't put it up there. So that's a great thing. It's a claim, yeah. <laughs> and me never write that, me never record that, that too, right. but him record his. He recorded his. Yeah. <laughs> and release it? I never knew it released till one day a white man from... Bastard, send me a tape and me yet pan it. Father Buster. There we can see your baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
So now, eventually that kind of played out. Yeah. I think. But you got some big tunes out of it and he got some big tunes oh, out of yes, it. Oh, yes, yes, yes. It helped him yes. more than me because oh, yeah? he's the producer of uh his. -huh. Oh, and I so he benefit more from, from, yeah. from. Oh, yeah. make a yeah, lot man. of sense. Me get that, yeah. me get that. So no, 63 was when you did Housewives with, with, with uh, Millicent Todd. Patsy. Yes. Yeah, I Big did. Big song that. Housewife Chives was a very good song. And it, it, the name of Housewife Chives was You Don't Know. You Don't Know, How right. How much right. I love you. you. Mm. And we sent it up to RGR on a pre-release. White label. Mm -hmm. uh, Ungo right on it, the name of the song. And it's singer. There we go. So, so Mary God used to play it. I want you to play and play. The housewives would have every day they, they, they request it. Every oh. day. So she stopped calling it, you don't know, and say, housewife choice. Housewife choice. So when Lazy Kang went release it now, he said, nah, put you don't know again. He was just uh, put it, housewife, housewife choice. choice. Mm. And that's how that gets the name, housewife choice. Because if you listen to the song, no housewife, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> You know? <laughs> yes, understood. Big yeah. song, big song. Yeah, man. And that was just one of the songs that you and Patsy did. Yeah. That was the second song because you did um, Don't Love to Brag. Love Not to Brag, but for Joke Wheel. That was Joke Wheel. Joke, right. So yeah. that was two yeah. songs with you and Patsy now. And then, yeah, man, we do Feel So Fine, Feel So Good. We do a lot of Are songs. Are you going to marry me? Are you gonna marry me? Don't you worry. Don't you worry. You know them by heart. We do a few of them, man. Enough of them, man. Yes, yes. yes. Mm. Then now, in the mid '60s, songs like "Tougher Than Tough." Yeah, that 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 is that is the time when um, what's that? Uh, um, George Red. George Red. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. And do the bang bang, conquering ruler. All those songs. Uh, Conquer and Ruler, I do it for myself. You self-produce? I do the whole produce. Yeah. Okay, nice. Yeah, and I produce man like Max Room. Yeah, yeah man, we soon get to the part I think, the man. <laughs> we soon get to the part that I think. You also did a Benny King cover, Seven Letters, for Bonnie Lee. That's right. And question now, is Bonnie Lee your brother-in-law? That's my wife, brother. Bonnie Lee is my wife's brother. So you and the next I am the man who well, starts Bonnie, Bonnie Lee. And that me just have to ask you again. Yeah. I start Bonnie Lee in a business and Bonnie Lee come up and become a great man. But here what Bonnie Lee used to do now. Every artist where, where Sir Dad put out, Bonnie Lee get them to do the same song for him. <laughs> When I, when I strike, I approach is that every song we, 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 we Cox and record, top two, yeah. Him, him get the artist, he him get the same artist, and them come and do it for him too. Same, <laughs> same song. And I said to him to one day, I said, Bonnie, why you even keep making over people tune? Make them come with them one tune. I said, No, man, I, you know why. Still, it, I didn't know why. Because why was it? Because you know, from them singing females, he's tuned too. You see what I'm saying? He uh, hold it that way. He record was soon. <laughs> he himself. You know? Strike at the easier time. He was the best. <laughs> yes, he was the best. Nobody <laughs> could touch that guy's striker. He, but my songs, them do. What I, I do a lot of songs for striker, you know. Mm -hmm. I do a lot of songs because I do the production. Okay. For my always strike, I do for me, I produce it myself. And he did the and distribution. The, and, and away from that, I produce other songs with, with me and by myself. Right. You know what I do? I just take all of my songs that I want to carry and go sell. Mm. And sell. And now give me a penny. Your brother in law? Then give me a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> he never give me a one cent out of my song that I do. And sell them. But yeah, me and him was so close that it didn't bother me. Didn't bother you. It never bothered me at all. In 69, they're about you signed with Melodisc record? That was 63. 
63? Oh, yeah. so, for, so early assigned to them? Yeah. I signed with Melodist Records 63 with True Prince Buster. Ah. Melodist man was Mr. Charlotte. Charlotte, right. 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 And Buster won, draw me back out of uh, Beverly's. Oh, okay. And in, <laughs> because Charlotte was Buster manager. Okay. So they, they come bribe me with a thousand pounds. Mm. And then they yeah, the thousand pounds and money. Yeah, man, I can't imagine. <laughs> <laughs> so I decided to take the trip to England with him. And then Leslie Kang never liked it. He said, don't, I will buy your house. And he said, well, don't go long with that, you ever buy me the house. Me want to England. So we decided to go with Buster, sign the paper, get me thousand pounds and decide to head on to England okay. with Buster. When we go to England, and I spent six months there because I didn't like the country. Mm. It was pure black fog in 63. Coal, when I say coal, coal. Coal, coal. <laughs> and you know, we do few songs up there, and Buster do wash wash. I played the tambourine panda on the for him. Oh, yeah? Yeah. This guy named George Flame, big American artist. I don't think it's English, but he played the, the organ. Okay. George Flame, I'm back George in Flame. Al Green. Al Green, find that. You know that okay, sweet yeah, place. Yes, yes. Yeah, George Flame. He backed me and with a song called Telephone and Show Off Rain. But all that, I said, no, sir. I go back to my yard. And I said, boss, sir, look. Me not like the atmosphere here, so I want to go home. I said, why, Derek, if you are left, me are left to you, though. <laughs> and I never do a thing but leave. Six months after I leave, uh, head back to Jamaica. You had, you, had, you had done moon up whilst in England? Yeah, I had done moon up in England. Mm. That became well, very popular with the skinheads. Yes. I do moon up um, for, with, with him. Um, when I do moon up, how I get to do moon up? Um, Palmer Records used to aim. Um, yeah, I used to um, produce for Palmer Records in England. I'm 69. So I used to produce some artists for him and so on. And one day when I in the studio, Shark Farm, Shark Farm studio. Mm -hmm. I go on the piano and I start playing a rhythm, a riff, you know? And then, me when me play the riff, the, 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 the musician them start coming one by one, you know, I'm, I make the rhythm sound good. Boom, 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 boom. You know, and I may play the piano from from F to G, I think it was. I may keep playing that man and hey, everybody come in now. And the rhythm song good. So I said to the um, the engineer, take this one. And him take it. Me never have no song for the tune. <laughs> but me say, me now go home and I put on something, I put on something mm -hmm. on it. So me start telling them, I'm ready for advice. I'm going around and say, ah, yeah, 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 you know. And I just, that I go, anything come out of me just say. say. <laughs> and then me say, this is my song. This one is my one and I'm for Palmer this. It's right. a my one thing. But I will give Palmer to release it still. So when I take it to Palmer now, I say, this one is mine. So if you like it, you can put it out for me. And he play it. And he say, yeah, man, it's too good. And little later, me, Luxembourg, I play it. Mm -hmm. everybody, so it was till he gone in the chat. I said, what is this? <laughs> I, you know, I, I, I know, I heard that he sell it out to another, his name Phoenix. Uh, 
Phoenix record and, and they want to own it. Oh, oh yeah. Can you own it and you never know when it did a make. Mm. You know? But then, you know, me and them at that. Oh, you? yeah. Okay, okay. You're working on that. Yeah. Okay, okay. But, but, but like that. Because yeah. when you work, if you get paid up on them. That's again. right. Yes. So eventually you came back to Jamaica. Yes. Well, a couple of things before we pick up back, you returning. Whilst you were doing audition for Leslie Kangdon at Beverly's, was there anybody who came through that ended up having big careers? Yes. Talk to me about that. Toots. Oh, yeah. And the metals. No, Toots alone. Toots, okay. He came. And when Toots come, he have a left handed guitar, a play. And he was. Sing and I, you know, I'm singing Bantan song. Mm -hmm. I mean, I said, I don't like them song there, no. I don't like them song there. So I turned him down. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't go bust up with Dog War. Uh -huh. But that time I got Farmer Group. I mean, I come and Beverly's with the group. With group, okay, right. it was just him. Yeah. And that become a number one. Mm. One day I was at my. Girlfriend by having a liquor, and she knew this liquor youth. And she sent him to me and said, Me must help him. That youth was Bob Marley. Oh, yes. So when he come to me, he said, He want to like do a song. And I say, But right now, I can't listen to you, you know, because you know my liquor, you know, you have to come up a Beverly's. I'm telling my Beverly is true to them. I say, okay. I don't see him again for about three or four months. Him and Jimmy Cliff present up there. Mm. And when he's up there now, he comes with two names, one cup of coffee. One cup of coffee. And him, Judge Nat, for you judge yourself. Mm -hmm. Then you know, that was the same time I was trapped going away to England with Buster. Okay. That was 63. Yeah, right, right. Same time we're going to leave. So they do the session. And I wasn't even at the session. Yes. When they, 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 they do it with him. And we decided to say, well, then, Leslie, Leslie, I put on two farewell shows for me. One at me up in Capri Theatre and one in Montego Bay. And we decided, say, all right, use this because you would punish show too. Bob. And we use him punish show. When him there at Capri Theatre and he go up on stage, he was a bad dancer. Okay. He dance more than him sing. sing. <laughs> so <laughs> we would have start the tune and right through. He might dance and I sing and I dance. So when him done, him tired. So when he come off of the stage now, I mean the backstage, I said to him, say, I know, so if you do it, you know, you must sing a verse, then dance. Then you sing, sing another me. verse. And you don't know, get the crowd going. Mm. Right, so I tell him. So when we go Montego Bay you now, he decided to do what I tell him. So when he come out with the first tune, one cup of coffee, the crowd boo him. Bob Marley. Yeah, then boo him. That time nobody don't know about right, Bob Marley. Man, I know, man, I'm just saying. <laughs> Said Bob getting booed to like the yeah, most man. people. <laughs> I think the younger artists never get booed at Derek Morgan. Oh, yeah? Never get booed on stage yet. Anyway, and then boo him. He, he never give up. And start by him second tune, judge not before you judge yourself. Mm. And that tear Much down the, the place. whole place. The night the people them think say man make a song half of them. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. Match up the place with that one there. Yeah. From that, we never had nothing to do with Bob no more. But, but you were there you know. early. Yeah, I go away and mm. left him. Tilling a farm group. Okay, I start with Beverly's but in a farm group. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. At at what age did you start I losing start your style fully? Nineteen ninety eight. Ninety eight, okay, yeah, okay, 90, okay. I do a cataract. I'm finding scrape it. 
I have a cloud come over and now I can't see me. Wow. In America. In America? Everything that happened to me is in America. Mm. Because Max Romy and I we were going on a show in Montego Bay. Six of us in the car. And I don't know what happened. But we only hear bloom. And the car in the here with we a fly. No wheel pan gong. And it serve and goes through and it serve and comes and bam against the wall and serve and goes and bam against the wall again. And, and the third time when it come back, it go right over one fence. With we. And me, the pan, awa. Awa. And Max say, awa. No, no, we don't know what happened, you know. Because I'm not lick a car, I'm not lick a post or nothing. Just hear the blam and the car lift up. And we go over to this place. Drop on the four wheel in a common. <laughs> like them play football Bob. there. Yeah. Ah, and I try to come out of this car now. Because we did just fill it up with gas. And I said, it's me blow up. And you know, with my consciousness, I said, I get over and I push the door, could it pull? Because it bang up my oh, side. Okay. Mm. But the window was down. And I get up. I was in the front seat and I tried to wiggle myself through that door. Then everybody had sit down in the car in the same way. And I wiggle myself and come out, man, and I walk away from the car. I can't say, oh, no, no, I come out of the car. So I blow up. That's why everybody, I mean, when I girl in my background said, Lord, me dead. Me say, you're too lie. Can dead man talk? <laughs> <laughs> and then we say, people coming down, and I say, them dead? Them dead? Well, people who want to watch it. Yeah, okay. So when the man ain't come, they say, boy, I want to look it. It's a goat roll of stone off of the hill and go under the axe and lift the car. Mm. Just in time for lift the car. Um, it can't did mash up mash beyond okay. repairs right okay. there. Yeah. And everybody survived? Everybody survived. Now, I'm going to one get injured. And because me wiggle myself, I got through the glass, the, 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 the door. Got through the, the, the window. And shift up my spine. Uh -huh. And that was it. Uh -huh. But everybody else was okay. If I just sit down to move, all right. Mm. Mm. Question, was there some contractual issues with Melodisc? So yes. you couldn't voice see anybody else? And... No, what he did when he when signed the contract, it was a binding contract. You know? So when I go, go back to Jamaica, I didn't want to leave Boston and go back to Jamaica, to, to him, Leslie. Leslie. But when I go to Leslie, Leslie said, I can't use you because you're under contract. I mean, say, what, what do you mean, sir? And say, no, you have to clear that contract before me can make you sing. So I said, what is this? We got to Eddie. See, I got. Eddie, see, I got. And I tell him about the contract. And he said, bring the contract, come with me, see it. And then read the contract. And he said, oh, this man give you a proportunity. I said, his name? That, uh, that means for life. Oh, yeah. And he said, I'm going to get you out of it. And then call up Charlotte and said, How can you sign a contract without a liar and give a blind man? I want you to clear it. That time Eddie was the finance mm -hmm. minister. Mm -hmm. I want you to clear that contract. Charlotte cleared it immediately. Oh, yeah? Yeah. But You're free up you now. Before, before I, I free with the contract, and Leslie wouldn't use me, and me want to leave Buster, but I do find two guys named Bill and Chill, and I start a little group named Derek Morgan and the Blues Blenders. Oh, okay. And okay. I go it to Coxon. Yeah. And we start record some tune for Coxon. Mm -hmm. So 
So after that now, the contract comes to clear. Okay. So I went back to bus to Beverly. Like Beverly. And the first song him get when I went back there was Luigi's Don't Fear and Don't Fear. Greedy Girl. Mm. <laughs> get them two hit through there. And it was in that time too, or it was when you went to England that Stri um, Stranger Cole Stranger Cole and Patsy. When I came back in 1963, because I see him here, I come back. Okay, right. I hear Patsy and Stranger Cole. Oh, Stranger Cole. A mash up place with when I call your name and rough and tough. Mm -hmm. I said, Post the weight. At the time, Duke would find a man was found close to him, which was a stranger. Stranger. And put him with Patsy. Patsy, right. And I go on well and me, when we come home now, I say, oh, tell you what it is. So I say, I write a tune named Poison Ivy in my flesh. And I say, him stranger say, who are you that I should be mindful of? And my song say him, I never remember the name, or oh, sing again. But close to his. Right. And then I sing. Miku with a murmur not. Okay. Half a oh. patsy. Oh. Yeah. Sing it half a patsy. And then uh, long after she and I go back and do some songs. Songs, right, mm. right, right, yeah. right. No, you in the production, because you say you produce some of, some of the songs, like Conquer and Ruler, you did that for yourself yeah, and such, right? Yes, yeah. You also produce people. You, you did production work with Jimmy Cliff? No. No. No, I never produced it. But I used to be the man who splice for him. Okay. Splices music for him. Oh, okay. Because they believe in me splicing. When I say splice, I don't mean the splicing. The man who I cut the tape. Oh, okay. The first time you have, and I like the computer being right, where you have, you have to cut the you have to cut cut and tape giant. and tape it back. So I was the man who used to tell him man where to cut and stop and, uh, and come back up giant mm. and become one thing, you know. I Jimmy did love me to do that yes. for him. You did production work with Garnet? Yeah. Silk? Garnet. Yeah, man. I start out Bimbo and Tony Rebel. And I, I start them, I was at Bunny Studio and then I saw the two guys in and them said they want to do something and I said alright and then go upstairs and the, the, the um, Garnet used to sing as Bimbo. Bimbo, little Bimbo. Yeah, so he my DJ and I said no man, like a sweet voice where you are about DJ, you have to sing man. I sing a few tunes for me and, and Tony Rebel do the DJ part. Mm. And I want to tell you, the song, them get off good on that, this label called him, this man named Chris Wilson. Okay. I put them out and do good, do, doing very good. Yes. But after a while now, me hear that they change him from Bimbo to Garnet, to Garnet Silk. We, I have nothing to do, to do with, with that. So. Right, right, no. right. You all, but you did know a lot of work with Max Romeo. Oh, Max, you're my boy, man. <laughs> Max, you're your boy. My yeah. boy, that man. Let Max. the power fall. Yes, that was the first one I produced with him. Mm. And the, then the government take it over. That was the PMP. The mm. Yeah. And said, let the power fall on them, you know. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> uh, see, Righteous flames. Uh, yeah. And... Max is going good, man, and we do a um, Maccabee version with him, and mm. it's some nice Righteous Flames, yeah. Love and Emotions, Horse we, Race. I do Flames, we do him, um, we do him um, Voice Rise. Voice Rise, okay. I do him, um, I remember them name now, <laughs> mm. but a lot of them I, I produce, uh, okay. I do for myself. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. You lived in, in Canada for a while too? Three years. Three years. I lived in Canada for three years. And I'm buck up a producer of the name Elliot. Horace Elliot. Mm -hmm. And him same one me for some song for him. So I used to do some song for him and make a album named Love City. 
and so on. What is that like a jealous man? <laughs> when you hear of Tim Chandel, yeah. and Tim Chandel sound dead like me, he called Tim Chandel over from England, and have my tune cut out and I put in Tim Chandel, oh. cut out and I put in Tim Chandel, I never like. Mm. Then he buck up I Rai. I Rai, and he bring in I Rai, and me and I Rai do few tunes for him and so Okay. Yeah. Collaborations are individual yeah, singles. Collaborations. Collaborations? Okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah. when you and I Rai have songs together. Yeah, man. And I think, yeah. You and Busta ever do a song together? Well, let me tell you, with Buster now, you have to say every song you do, me do with him. <laughs> I don't sing, yeah, but I do it with him. Yeah, if me I not clap my hand, yeah, I play me do parish. something. Yeah, for him. <laughs> you know? I understand. But I would believe, in my opinion, that Prince Buster was the best when it come to producing. Oh, yeah? With clear music. Okay, okay. He do in bringing something in Askia where I can't tell anybody. Is he the first man who plays smear drum on his hand? On his hand? Yeah. Like a music playing go. Yeah, that mm -hmm. clap. Till the drummer them start play that. No. Oh, okay. And in play progression too. You hear the progression now. And we have beer back in high school and a Bust against the wall. Oh, yeah. And they go bring me <laughs> a film progression that. that. If they go them way, then, mm. I'm telling you. I Creative. Have to give, yeah. Mm. You have to give Caesar what you do. Yes. You also, well, let me ask you now, during audition, you actually audition Desmond Decker? Oh, yes. Desmond came to the Levzy camp. I have a friend called Eric Smith. Yes. And him and Desmond become good friends. And him bring him there. And nearly two years before we really get anything out of the Desmond. Out of Desmond? Yeah. Oh, yeah? And when him sing, Hannah, your mother and father. Yeah, father. I wasn't even there when him sing that. I went away. Okay. And him come with that. And that was over there at start. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, and him actually do a few collaborations as well. And every song we sing for Beverly is that him harmonize them. <laughs> him and, and George Agard. George Decker. A George Decker? Well, they call him George Decker in England. Okay. Because when he come up with the pioneers, they use George Decker as him, a brother of Desmond, Desmond. Decker. Ah. So they just call him George, George Decker. Decker. So the pre, you yeah. see pre. Yeah. You also wrote quite a few winning festival songs. Yeah, I started. The first one I wrote for sing was um, Festival 10. The, okay. And to beat it. So and you actually did that one? I did that okay. myself. And Festival 10 was the number one to win. But there was a trick with Claude Mass up and Byron Lee. They took away the ballot box and they tried a thing. Mm. And they win with it. Because when it was two box leave to count, JBC start interview me. Now that you win the festival, I said I don't win yet, you know, until the two box count. Come is a funny man, you know, you have to trouble me. You have to know. So let me do the thing and then... Right, right, right. So accept it. I just said to them, so I don't know about that. I, when the two box count, then me, you know. So said, so done. Because I was leading far. Mm -hmm. When the two box come in and talk count, I peer to in there. <laughs> no, imagine I must have about eight of us. Right. And uh, the only the toots, toots name yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds strange to you. Funny. <laughs> and <laughs> me, 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 me I confront Toots about it. Sorry, yeah. God. May God rest his soul. Yeah. Um, I confront him and he said, boy, a Byron Lee, you know. I know me, a Byron Lee set it up. You know? I, I, I make mass up. Them take away the box and set up the, them name in it and so on. So I saw it go. But me, they get my pay. So they get the money? Yeah, because Miss Lou... 
Louis Bennett, right? She have winding. And when she ask the children to sing the festival song, they must sing. Your song. Oh yeah. Rabba da pa dam bam bam. So me get full pay and a D and G put up together and pay toots. Okay, okay. Did you actually win any festival? You actually did the song and win? No. 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 When nineteen when I make this song, um, for him, Neville Martin. Jamaica Warrior. Yeah? Jamaica Warrior. 1988. That's right. That came in first. Right. And then I make one for Stanley. Fury Island, a boom. Fury Island, a boom. 2000. Yeah. Then I make one with Devon Black. Progress, 2002. Progress. And it was three songs came in first. Congrats, man. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you, you wrote any since then? You mean festival? The festival song? No, no I don't do no, that no, no. Oh, I guess when you feel the prize again, you have to win that year there again. Good, and then start making the price go up high. <laughs> <laughs> I will start right. Yeah. <laughs> Tougher than tough. Yeah. That, that's the Rudy's yes, Don't Fear. Rudy's Don't Fear. Based on the research, it says that that song appeared in the Scarface video game. Oh, yes, it's in the star phase. Star phase. Star phase, phase. No? Yes. yes. They actually did business with you? No. No. They didn't do no business with me, but it, um, they sent me um, what do you call it? Royalties. Okay, okay, Royalties. that's good. I'm happy to hear that. Yeah. That's good. It works. I carry on. Yeah, it's still Island that. Yes. Island. Island, that. okay. Yeah. In 2001, you were conferred with the Order of Distinction. Yes. Con congratulations. Was it 2001? 2001. Yeah, yeah, that is what the, the research says. Yeah, 2001. Congratulations, OD. man. Thank you. Deserved, man. They gave me OD that time. Yeah, yeah and yeah. last year at Grand Gala, you were given the Icon, Icon of Music Award. I yeah, Icon Award. Congrats, man. Yeah, thanks. I think, I think um, there was another one, man, when I remember now. Some, some. I got a lot of them. Right, right, right. What well, well, we can do is take the whole photo of them. Right. If you don't want inside. Con yeah, man, that's a good vibe. Yeah. Congratulations, man. Because you. you would have put in the work for Adam Morgan. Yeah, of course. Years upon years. Yeah, man. I have a lot of plots and, 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 and we call it him showfish. Show, okay. Yeah, showfish. inside, yeah. Mm. Nice, nice. How, yeah. how has it been, though? Go, um, treating with the music since you lost your sight fully? Since me lost my sight over fully? How, how, through, how, yes, how, how has it been going on the road and performing and stuff? Well, I have a wife. I was married 1968. 1968. <laughs> and we're still living together right now. Congratulations, man. Yeah. I must show her up. I don't know what she did. She, uh, lady. <laughs> <laughs> lady Nelly. Nelly. Lady Nelly. Yes, the sister Bonnie Lee. Ah, a good wife, man. Yeah, man. And she she never leave me out. Very good. We have six children together. Two died. Leave four. My condolences, man. I didn't know yeah. you have children that passed. What baby? Okay, okay. One at six and one at months. Mm. Or was a twin? Her brother na his brother named Troy Morgan. I have a, one of his son is a doctor. He's Courtney Morgan. My big son, his name is Merrick Morgan. He's a CFO. Mm -hmm. Doing good. Um, my one girl. Laverne Morgan, and she is she's the manager for taking in children at Miami Dade School. Okay. She's the manager there. So. Right. Then, but I have a lot more children out. Queen Africa is Beatrice. one of my friends. Oh, yeah, my friend, my, son, <laughs> my daughter. I do good. Yeah. Then I have Joan Morgan, she's a nurse. And I have Michelle Morgan, is nurse and I have another Michelle in England. <laughs> she 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 work with the um, um she in bone bone mud. I don't remember bone that. Mud. Yeah, bone yeah. mud. And then I have I can't let out no name in you know, because they will kill me. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Arvin, uh, the boy of Carl Morgan in, in, in Canada, he, 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 he do construction. And I have Paul Morgan, he do, I don't remember a film kind of, everybody in a big work. But you have been fruitful and multiplying for the Morgan world. I tell you me, you have to multiply because the father said multiply, he never said subject. He said that with you, I multiply, he <laughs> You have to multiply, man. And it seems like all the kids are, are doing well. Yes, yeah, everyone. That. Thank God that. my head don't hold down with yeah, man, none of my kids that, then. I have a son in England, his name is Chris, they're from Morgan too. And the, the, the other them doing good. You saw the eyes there. Yeah, Aaron wants to see, see me. Yeah, I don't want to see when I don't want to You yeah, have been in the business for a long time. From the beginning of the business for the start in the business. The 70, um, um, 59, uh, 57, 59 the year. That is that time when I started recording, mm -hmm. 59, but I started from 57. From 57. Yeah. And you would have seen all the changes. All the changes of the music, mm -hmm. I watch it. Mm -hmm. When after leave Ska, we go to Rocksteady. Rock and mm -hmm. from Rocksteady to Reggae. Mm -hmm. And we was trying another one named Janko Skank. We try all kind of thing till we reach dancehall dance now. Mm. You would have amassed a lot of accolades a lot of hit songs, you understand? Oh, and, yes. and, and you are tied with independence, as I said. So you right. have done great things. Musically speaking, when you look at the journey, what is that thing that gives you that sense of satisfaction and pride that you have achieved along the musical oh, journey? Oh, boy. Um, everything to give God praise for. Mm -hmm. Because when I go out, my nose keeps scratching me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, allergy, anyhow. Yes. Uh, when I go out, uh, I, I sing. The, 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 um, the shows of them, especially in Europe, they love me like cook food. As they should. White people, mostly. Mm -hmm. well, I just came from Colombia the other day. Oh, yeah? And if you see people shout and sing my songs, I couldn't believe it. Because it was the first time I've been to Colombia. Columbia. When I've been in Mexico, worse. Mm -hmm. They love me there like cook food. When I go Italy, Germany, um, Spain, Amsterdam, name, name the new European country. You have been I've there. seen everyone. Brazil, all them places. And everything going so, fine. So the love and reaction from the, from the people and the fans give you a great that, joy and Oh, God, make me feel great, man. It make me feel good. Yes. Yeah. Especially a set called the Skinheads. The skinheads, England. England. The mm. whole Europe. The whole Europe. Yeah. Skinheads. They are even in California and those shows. They are Max Romeo so. people, them there. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, man. Musically speaking, though, there's nothing left for that, that you would hope to add to the legacy. No, not no. really. Yeah, you have done it. I can't stop singing now because I'm getting my pension from my music. Nice. So royalties and publishing are That's in place. That's right, yeah. I'm glad for you that, Father Morgan. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad for you that. Yeah. That's very important. And the things that when, when, when I start out, it, work I do for start out them there. Yeah, right now we're going up back in Florida because I have to head out. To California. Oh, okay. Festivals them side, eh? Yeah. I'll go do Sierra Nevada show right now. Mm. Yeah. The songs in the catalog, though, is, is there one or two or three that resonate with them more than the others? Like, you know, your quiet time, they want to come to your thoughts more, you hum them, and well, or you enjoy performing those ones more than the others. You see what happened? You can't go up there and go perform new tunes. The people want to hear the whole age. Right, 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 right. So sometimes I try pushing a new tune, but, you know. <laughs> a old tune they want. old tune they want. Yes. So out of the old tune, which one of them give you the most joy performing? Oh, God. You have to say every one of them. Because if I say, in my heart, you know, the crowd gone. <laughs> and I say, me sweetie, me Lulu. The code, yeah. and they sing it. The white people them sing them. 
There were songs with me. Yeah. Blazing Fire. Blazing Fire. All them tune. Which song would you say has done the best for you, though? Commercially speaking. Moon Up. Moon Up. Moon Up. The one you say just sing what come to your mind. Yeah. That, that's a big, <laughs> se big seller for me. Big, big and seller. the same Blazing Fire because if I'm doing special, because, you know, they do special. Special, yeah, man. Hey, hey. Every man from Japan. Why that? Japanese. And, yeah. you know, all over. Yeah, speak, Europe and thing. Yeah, speak, the first thing they want is Blazing Fire. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking about specials, for those people who, who don't know how to find you and want to get in touch with you, whether for bookings or dub plates, how yeah. they find you? Well, they, they, they can call me at the 876. 885-7748, that's Jamaica, or 305-857-7027, that's US. Okay. Looking at the journey, is there anything that you, you, you look at it and say, huh, you know, I should I approach that differently, or I would do that differently if I could do it? You know, it, with, the, with my eyesight and thing. There's nothing that bother me. Nothing that bother you. Nothing bother me because I'm a man. I can cook. I can clean up. I, 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 I can do everything as a man who see. Right, okay. You know? The only thing that bothers me now is this leg because I do an operation in, in the US where it really slow me up and oh. spoil up the spine. Okay. So how is recovery coming along with that? Well, it's done from two or three, you know. A long time, not far of that one. And I'm get worse. It look like me now exercise. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that, man. So that yeah. kind of limit you. But hmm. that don't stop me because my son them walk with me. Okay. And can me go. Where you need Push to go me in a wheelchair. Can me go anywhere more and go. Mm. Yeah. Because right now, if we go up and American try and coming down for me. Okay, nice, nice. So the youth them rally and and yeah, and, and, the youth them and rally mama around. Nelly, yeah, Miss man. Nelly. And Nelly, yeah. Take care of you. Yeah, That's man. good man. Yeah, Glad man. for no say the thing the thing I flowed nice see me a father there, man. Yeah, As man. One of the great men, one of the legendary yeah. figures in the music. Yeah, I'm man. happy that you're still around with us. Yes, you know my I mean? brother. Blessing us with the music. And I'm going there yeah, for a long more time. I'm you know? happy to hear that. <laughs> happy to hear that. And as I said I earlier, ain't gonna leave you now. look and sound very strong. Yeah, man. Strong. Give Why sit that, and man. sing out my whole I'm mature? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. I was that in, in, in New York, Donna. I mean, there's so much people that I don't remember them names. <laughs> Dana Morgan, we can't leave her out of this thing yeah, because leave out later then, we could, then we get mad. Yes, how many grandchildren? Well, I can't count that now. <laughs> me know me over 50. Because you have a lot of youth, yeah. so you know that. Me know I'm over 50. Over 50 girls. Yeah. Mm. And the music has treated you well, Father Morgan. Oh, yes. Well, thank God for a blind man. You see me home. Nice home. Me come Very here. nice home. And me build it with my own hand. You build when I said with, with my own hand, me tell him and them what I want, and them do what they want to do. It's a big house. Very nice house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very nice house. I'm happy that one of the one of, one of the great men have benefited significantly oh, yes, from I, the work that they have done. Yes, that is my work give me this. On my band, one time I must give you this. Give me. Monty Morris and me live in the same yard. I was about 14 years of age. And Monty come round. Right, right, was by Fung Chuck. Ch Old Cat. Old no. Cat. <laughs> Fung was a um, fireman. Okay. And then park him, Old Cat, there, so. And we down there, I beat me, me drum and Monty come on. And him roll up a spliff. Them turn them in know one here, play. <laughs> and him say, mm, Derek. And I say, what is him say, you man has to to smoke it. And him roll up one for smoke too. And before me like that, is a policeman rush me and hold me. <laughs> and Monty took off, left me. Monty run left you. 
But that policeman, he live in Orange Lane too. So he know you? He know the boat about. Okay. But he wanted to hold Monty Morris. He can Monty road with them all the while. Okay, okay. So, he hold me and say, what that you have in a yard? I said, I don't know. Monty, give me. He <laughs> said, all right. I take it to your mother. And he came it to my mother. And I said, my mother said, I smoke weed. I said, I wasn't smoking anything, Aunt me, because I called my mother Aunt me. Okay. I said, Aunt me, I wasn't smoking anything. A month, you just give me it and thing, and so on. He said, okay, you know what, girl? Me, when I put on my dress on you, and you can't go on the road again. Only when you go to school, you put on your clothes, and when you come back in, you put on, put on my frock. <laughs> <laughs> and that was my punishment. I never, never smoke. Ever, no. This one artist never smoke weed. Mm. I'm a bike. Give me a musician them. Oh, you bike. Give me a musician them. Yeah. Don't smoke. Me not smoke weed. <laughs> no sir. A, a good movie. Movie start out properly well. Yeah. But let me ask you a question. Hey, you mentioned movie. It has uh, in the reading it says that was a was a deacon. Where was that whilst you were growing up? In, in in Moko. In Moko. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. He was okay. in Moko. Um, he was a deacon for the church in Moko. Uh, and die young, you know, die about sixty nine. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. My condolences. Mm -hmm. Father Morgan, it's a joy. And I'm say this, some people might say when teachers said that every interview, but I'll be a great people interview. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's a, okay. It's a joy if you sit down here so with one of the legendary figures in the music. Pleasure, man. My yeah, pleasure. Son, it's a joy. My pleasure. Um, it, it, it would have been nice if it had happened before, but everything happened at the right time, no, at the right no, space. done before it time. Yeah, man. Give thanks, man. And go on, represent the music oh, worldwide. Yeah. Never will stop. And we appreciate the man's immense contribution to the yeah, music. Man. Thank Sir you, man. Derek Morgan, OD. Yes. Great man. Thank you. It's a joy, man. You know, I see me out yeah, with so Give yeah, thanks, man. man. Great, you know the thing, go? Yeah, man. Sorry, go. Blessings, man. Yeah, blessings, it. blessings, blessings. I'm going to big up the man, Jimmy Cliff. Big up Al Capone. Big up him, him Winston Francis. Those are my good friends in England. Mm. Big up Big George, my big friend. George Coombs and his wife. You know? And I, I could big up him, Edley, who come to Jamaica for see me. I know him don't see me as yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. And I have some from big up Shelly and Brown, Joy Brown. I big up him. Oh, God. There's so much of them to big up. Denzel Dennis, my big friend. Mm. Yeah, and so on. Denzel Dennis was another good singer. Yes. From him. Um, Palmer Records and so Okay, on. okay. Yeah. yeah, man. Before we go further, man, I'm going to beg a couple lines of water in my heart. Right? Yeah. Ready? Yes, man. In my heart, I feel like a king looking for a queen to call my own. In my palace, I've got two thrones. One is for me. The other waiting. So, darling, can't you say you will be my queen? Occupy my throne. Whoa. In my heart, I feel like a king looking for a queen. To call my own in my palace, I've got two thrones. One is for me, the other waiting. Mad. <laughs> Sorry for the voice, the throat is going. No, man, yes, <laughs> it's cool, Father Derek, man. Give thanks, great man. Yeah, it's man. a joy. It's a joy. It's an honor. Great. It's an honor. Great. It really is an honor. Give thanks. Give thanks. We're going to take some of the him. Let the photos inside. Yeah. Yes, man, definitely. Yeah.